Silent Hill 2 Remake is different than I thought it would be. Let's get into it. So initially, when I started this game up, I immediately noticed how visually impressive it was. You can definitely tell the developers took their time with like upgrading the visuals, just from the environment and the character models, which still look a little goofy to me. Um, but I, overall, I was definitely impressed with the environment. They definitely upped the fog level, it felt like, in this. Uh, the interior levels were honestly my favorite aspect of the game as far as visual improvements. They just, they look creepy. I like the vibes. I mean, traveling in between the cracks in the walls, everything about it was just like, yeah, they took their time in improving the visuals for this. So I have no complaints there. I did think it was a little funny, just uh, off the rip. I immediately was like almost, I don't know, uncomfortable with the way the character was walking. It was very janky. Even that, like the running animations, it was just, I don't know, it just seemed kind of silly to me. I was like, oh, well, this feels like a part they didn't update, but it, you know, you get used to it after a while of playing the game, which honestly, you got a long time to play this game. So you're going to get used to it or you're just not going to like it the whole playthrough. Um, but you know, overall the combat was fun. I liked, I liked actually fighting the enemies with melee more than I liked using the guns, the aiming wasn't difficult to use, but at times it felt a little bit frustrating. Um, but the combat itself, you know, hitting them with the, the wood and stuff like that was actually pretty satisfying. Just beating them breaks off these guys. So I can't complain about the combat. That's actually one of my favorite aspects of the game is just getting into the combat and beating those guys up. Outside of the combat, um, as far as like getting around the game feels, I don't know, it was weird. I didn't play the original Silent Hill 2 game. I played a lot of Resident Evil when I was a kid. That's kind of more my bag. But I definitely wanted to check this one out because I wanted to see what all the buzz was about. And um, it's definitely very like uh, obtuse. Like they want you to explore. And at times it was cool because like I would, I, I won't pretend like I was like an expert at this. I was pretty much just fumbling my way around this game, like finding notes and then reading my map. I probably checked my map way more than like somebody who knows what they're doing in this game would just because i just was consistently being like where the hell do i go like, where is this item um but it, it was like an interesting progression where i never felt like i needed to google anything you know i won't be afraid to say that some games i'll be googling stuff but i didn't really feel like i needed to do that in this game um there were some portions where i was like dude i have no idea what the hell i'm supposed to do because this game kind of rewards you for exploration it starts off a little bit narrow but once you get later into the game, it definitely feels like it, uh, it expects you to just kind of explore the map and figure out where things are. Oh, I can't unlock this door. All right, well, I gotta go find a key for it. All right, well, there's this other area that's got a question mark on it on the map. I'll go check that out. Uh, so it's it's got some interesting um, level design as far as like how you progress through it and how you navigate to kind of complete these levels. And speaking of moving through the levels, it, these it can feel pretty daunting to get through these levels unless you're like sprinting through them, which in 2024 it feels weird to me that we still have characters that walk just like off standard and you have to press a button to get them to run and the run animation is not very quick <laughs> so that it seems like such a small thing but to me it was like come on seriously like i gotta hit the l1 button to run and it's not it ain't a sprint it, i don't even try to tell me it's a sprint that's that's a jog a light jog at best so uh, yeah, I thought that was a little bit weird, but again, as somebody who didn't play the original game, maybe that's a typical thing. And I know a lot of old school retro horror games kind of had that as a mechanic, so maybe I'm just spoiled with the modern games that we play. <laughs> One of the things I immediately noticed about this game is that it's longer than the original. I know if you look it up on how long to beat, the original Silent Hill 2 I think was like 9 hours. Um, and I clocked in at like almost 20 hours with this one, so uh that's probably it was really cool but at the same time um kind of i don't feel like horror games or anything of that genre need to be super long i think that it it pays more it gives more value when these games are like short and sweet or maybe something that's just like the right amount of length like six to nine hours feels kind of good you know maybe 10 to you know 10 hours but I was, it's just, I, I think I would, this would be the first game I've played where I felt like it kind of overstayed its welcome a little bit. It's not something that I usually complain about in games, but when it comes to horror games, especially games like this that are so obtuse, uh, and they're uh, dark, man, dark, this game is dark. <laughs> you can't see nothing in some of these levels. So it's like, it was, it, which was actually kind of cool because 
Um, you know, you spend your time out in the fog in the first part of the game and it's very slow and you're kind of drudging through it. And, and then once you get past like the hospital level and you start to get to the other levels of the game, foggy but it's dark so it replaces it with that aspect but i like the interior levels a whole lot more than i liked being out in the open for sure uh they just definitely seem more interesting to me yeah it was a great game <laughs> you know it doesn't sound like i like it. It, it it's not uh one of my favorite games of the year but uh it was it was still a pretty good game to play the ending i i got one of like the the kind of good endings i didn't get anything that was super I didn't go for all the endings. I got the single ending and I was done. I was like, all right, I've played this game for longer than I actually really wanted to play it. And I got, you know, an ending and I'm done. Like, <laughs> I'm moving on to the next game. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good game. Uh, definitely felt longer than I think it needed to be. Like I said, I think horror games, you know, short and sweet is better for me personally. Obviously, you guys go around and have your own opinions. Uh, visually, it's super impressive. Uh, I like what they did as far as upgrading the environments. When you get to the prison, I know that's like the part that they improved the most, and you can definitely tell because that part is like, it's just, it feels super expanded compared to the original version. The combat is fun. I like that you can move while you aim, obviously. I mean, who doesn't like that part in a game, right? So, yeah, uh, as far as the story goes, it was enjoyable. Because it just felt like, it was like, oh man, this could be like a thing that happens. And those characters are interesting. Holy crap. Uh, I think it's Eddie. I'm trying to remember his name. I think, yeah, Eddie is just a weirdo, bro. <laughs> Dude is a weirdo. And James, James just is out here like trying to find his, his a, a dead wife and just interacting with these interesting and awkward characters but he's trudging through it man that guy's a trooper there's some cutscenes where i was like this dude is just going through the motions but yeah man overall it's a pretty damn good game i i would recommend it to people if you're into horror games and you want something that you can kind of pick at it's definitely a game that you would want to just pace yourself i wouldn't say kind of binge it i would say probably pace yourself unless you're like a streamer or something but let me know what you guys think about the game if you enjoyed it um or give me your opinions on it too i want to know like what parts you didn't like about it you know you, you can think i'm crazy i don't care that's fine but let's talk about it down below peace